painless swelling was noted over the angle of mandible for over 8 years in a 58 year old male with the habit of smoking what is the likely diagnosis so in the image we can see that the patient has a unilateral swelling it's more likely to be a parotid swelling because it is at the angle of mandible okay let's try to co consolidate the data parotid swelling in a middle aged man the swelling is slow growing it's painless okay and history of smoking so all these features are very specific to one of the options given here let's look at the options first so the options are Wathen's tumor AOT amyloblastoma and pleomorphic adenoma now let's try to eliminate these options one by one AOT as we know is two-third tumor more common in females more common in maxilla in the canine region so that is the least likely option over here okay amyloblastoma is uh, something that would be slow growing yes corner of angle of mandible yes again males yes history of smoking questionable and painless is questionable okay so there are two things if we find a better option than that then we should go for it the next one is pleomorphic adenoma which is the commonest uh, benign tumor of the salivary gland but here we are talking about male predilection so pleomorphic adenoma is more common in females so and Worthen's tumor okay this one option number one is rather commoner in males specific to the ones who are uh, smoking so the etiology uh, is something that we need to think of the smoking etiology but Worthen's tumor can occur bilaterally also so it is a fix between going for Worthen's tumor and pleomorphic adenoma but going by the history the age of the patient and because it is slow growing the best answer would be a uh, Worthen's tumor that is option number one.